Hey everyone, it's Angela here. Now I just wanted to talk a little bit more about my story. So this will be part two. I'm going to have to do a part three tomorrow as well. Otherwise this is going to go on for far too long. So today I just want to talk a little bit about an event that happened in our lives about five and a half years ago that led us to the path or the journey that we're currently on now. Um, so five and a half years ago we were in partnership with another couple in a cafe in Wanaka in New Zealand. Uh, the business partnership basically wasn't going well uh, and we had a board meeting and they brought to the table someone who was wanting to buy the business uh, and we thought oh okay fine um, we weren't expecting that uh, we thought okay well it's the start of the process we'll have a few days to think about it they said no they need an answer by six o'clock tonight this was about four in the afternoon and we were just like oh my god we just couldn't believe it um uh because we knew that with the sale and the way they had we're going to distribute all the money uh, from the sale that we were going to be left with a huge amount of debt and we just felt like our hearts dropped uh, our world bottomed out we were like oh my god what are we going to do we can't do this we can't accept this uh We were basically put in a position when we had to accept it, we had no choice. Um, and then to rub self in the wound if you like, um, we, our business partners had arranged for a replacement chef to come in to replace Scott the next day until the day of settlement. Um, now this was all pre-planned without our knowledge. Um, our business partners apparently were staying in town for a couple of weeks until um, settlement day, um, which was 10 days after we signed the sale document that night, so it was incredibly quick. Um, and they'd also arranged for a replacement chef, assuming that Scott wasn't going to want to stay on working until settlement. Uh, and we were like, oh. we just didn't know quite how to respond really. We were like, well I guess we're going to have to go ahead with it, we felt we had no choice even though it left us in a, in a bad position and our business partners were going to walk away with any money that was left from the sale. Um, so as you can imagine the partnership was rather strained until the day of settlement. Uh, and even then it was um, it was hard having to tell the staff um, there was no guarantees that they were going to be keeping their jobs um, and you know they were like our family, our friends um, and by the time they were told it was only about eight, nine days until settlement day um, so they didn't have long to get their heads around it. Um, living in a small town it was going to be hard to find um, jobs for them as well. Um, so this event had a catastrophic effect on our lives. Um, we were left in just over $100,000 in debt. Um, no job. Um, potentially we were going to lose the place we were living in as well because we knew we couldn't afford to stay there. Um, we felt the only option was for us to move back up to Wellington to be closer to family and have um, some family support around us. Um, This wasn't this wasn't what we really wanted to do. Um, we loved Wanaka. Um, we wanted to stay there. Um, but the kids were young, um, so I wasn't able to work full time at that point in time. Um, and we knew we weren't going to be able to earn enough money to um, down in Wanaka to help pay for the debt and rent and bills, etc. Um, so we moved back up to Wellington and. We just felt numb. Our life was in turmoil. Um, my mum said to me when we walked, moved up here, she said, I've never seen people um, walk in that look so shell-shocked, so broken. Um, uh, we were in a position where we weren't able to go bankrupt um, uh, because of the way the debt was structured. We weren't able to do that. Um, so... 
people have said, why didn't you do that? And we're like, well, we can't. Um, we have obligations that we have to fulfil for the debt. Um, and although going bankrupt would have been easy, it's not. it wasn't an option for us. Um, so that event was a huge turning point in our lives. It changed everything for us. Um, it changed our, the direction of our lives, it changed who we were, it changed what we thought we wanted, um, changed our hopes, our dreams, everything was shattered. Um, so we had to try and work out a new path, a new direction. Um, and I think I'll leave the video there for today. I will go on to part three of my story tomorrow and we'll talk more about the direction that we're going and where things are moving to from here. So we'll see you in the video tomorrow.